my dream to perform my show, our show, I apologize, in a theater like this. For years, I performed as a solo act all around the country until I met my beautiful wife, Stacy. <laughs> when I met her, not a magician, not a magician. She was a therapist. Not by, by law, I have to say she wasn't my therapist. <laughs> so here's this woman I meet her full-time career for a 1K health insurance. She meets me and she leaves it all behind to become a magician. <laughs> Her father loves me. <laughs> so, uh, how we met is a really interesting story. It, it's just like it happened yesterday. I'm going to tell you about it. Um, I had just finished this amazing performance. I didn't want to go home to my apartment to celebrate with my roommates. So I went downtown for a drink. I walk into this bar. And I look to the left, and I see the most beautiful woman I, I've ever seen sitting by herself. I walk over and I say, is this, is this seat taken? She smiles, and she says, now it is. So, I looked at her and I thought to myself, this is the type of woman that would like to spend the rest of her life with a guy like me. <laughs> so I reached into my pocket, bought her a drink, got my wallet out, and as I did, she must have noticed the deck of cards in my pocket. Because she said, magic? And I smiled at her, she smiled back, and I knew that she knew that something miraculous was about to happen. No. This is what the trick like. No. That's not even close to the truth. That's exactly what... No, I mean, for starters, roommates, you lived in your parents' basement when we were at <laughs> Just to get the record straight, there was a bathroom, therefore it was an apartment. Oh, that's what we're going to go with. Yeah, because I did, it was the car trip that I did that you... Let me tell the story. Okay, I don't let you, mm. you? You just be quiet, go back here, try to look pretty. Yeah. <laughs> right, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, Stacey Allen. <laughs> I was sitting in a bar, minding my own business, when all of a sudden this guy came up and sat right next to me. I looked up to hear him say, is this seat taken? I thought, hopefully he'll move. He didn't budge. He was cute, but really awkward. I thought, I'm still single and almost 30. What the hell, I'll let him buy me a drink. <laughs> I noticed a deck of cards. Not quite, he practically threw them at me. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna just sit through a card trick. And this is what he did. You, sir, in the front, you're gonna help me with my story. What is your name? Nate. Nate? Yeah. Do you know the difference between the cards, the suits, you know, clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds? Yeah. Yes, perfect. Nate. Point to a card. That's touching, Nate. There's a difference between pointing and touching. All right. Jason learned that on our first date. Okay, which one do you want? You want that one? He changed his mind. This is the card you want out of all of the cards. Memorize it, don't forget it. Now ladies, I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this. I've heard a ton of pickup lines. But this one had to be the strangest. I just finished picking my card at random, like you, Nate. And all of a sudden, he pulled out a card like this. He looked me in the eyes and said, If the name of your card is written here, can I have your number? <laughs> I thought he's gotten this far. I might as well see where this goes. And then I was quickly filled with regret when he did this. <laughs> Cheesy, right? So you're probably wondering why I didn't leave right then. Well, to my surprise, I looked down and my card had vanished. Just like that. Now that was pretty amazing. But what really blew my mind, and what I still can't figure out to this very day, is how he got that card in his mouth. <laughs> and that's the true story of how we met. Yeah.